nothing is impossible. The word itself says impossible. I can't give you a surefire formula for success, but I can give you a formula for failure. Try to please everybody all the time. Hello everyone, Sydney St. James here with you today on this special day to pay tribute to all of our fathers on Father's Day. Thanks for dropping by and only a month ago I was talking about my mother and today the celebration of Father's Day reminds us about both the importance and the challenges of fatherhood. Fathers don't always enjoy the glow of intimacy and admiration we give our mothers, but indeed, fathers have the cultural image of the breadwinner, the disciplinarian, the authority figure. When you were growing up, how often did you hear your mom say, just wait until your father gets home? With that said, I remember getting in trouble one day, like running through the house with muddy shoes or something, but 
this required in my household discipline, disciplinary action by my dad. No, no problem. I was the guy my baby brother Warren looked up to and he followed me into the house that day. He also had muddy shoes, right? From there, we stood there waiting till daddy gets home. We heard dad's car come in the driveway and I quickly looked over at my brother and said, hurry Warren, put some books down inside your jeans and cover your behind. Well, he was my baby brother, so he did as I instructed him, right? We all have brothers or sisters out there, older brothers or younger brothers, and you know what I mean. Back then, <laughs> Warren always did what I instructed. <laughs> but that changed when he became a teenager. Anyhow, back to this disciplinary man, our father, who pulled off his belt when he got home and he decided to whip me first. I was tough and I didn't cry. And then he whipped Warren. But Warren didn't act like it was hurting like I did and dad discovered the books. That's right. Well, the authoritarian the authoritarian person in our lives had us remove the books and gave us double the strikes and double the licks with the power that he put behind him on our little hineys. Yep, I'm so familiar with wait till daddy comes home. Traditionally, our culture has often put fathers into a very, very difficult role. They must be aloof, but intimate. They must earn the wage, but be present too. And they must be compassionate, but disciplinarian. Well, I'm older now and a father of my own and a grandfather. It's time we cut we dads a little bit of slack. Don't you think so? It's no surprise that the father we all most often recognize in the Bible is the father of the prodigal son. It is the most inspiring and revealing story of fatherhood and its unconditional love in its highest, highest form. While we use the story to reflect God's grace and God's love, it is also meant to show how human fathers should be understood Often dads feel the burden of their responsibilities but are conditioned not to show it. That sometimes interferes with both their ability to express affection and our ability to recognize it. Luckily, our culture is changing and more fathers are involved in parenting in very direct and intimate ways. Some fathers now take the paternal leave when a child is born. They also understand the importance of play with their children in the evenings and on the weekends. Our understanding of what family means also is evolving every single day. Some of us have had the pleasure of being a godfather or a father figure to younger family members who may have lost their biological fathers. And many children grow up in single parent homes with only a father or only a mother. We have learned that it's the love, care, and presence that defines fatherhood. So today, ladies and gentlemen, on this special day, on Father's Day, we are celebrating for that special person in our lives who we call Father or who we call dad. And remembering that he may seem remote, but likely is more close to us than we could possibly realize. He may be the definition of tough love, but it is love. Even if your dad or your father, or the old man, some people call him, is grumpy 
opinionated, and distant. Remember that more than likely, that not you are more important to him than you could even possibly imagine. So, if your dad is or was present, loving, and showed it, then show it to him. In either case, embarrass dad this Father's Day with an abundance of attention. Praise him and acknowledge him. Trust me, my dear friends and listeners, he will love it. He will surely, surely love it. If you're lucky enough to grow up with a father like mine, there are a few things that you learn from a young age. A father puts their well-being aside to help their children. They sacrifice happiness, comfort, tranquility, and rest to make sure that their children are happy and well cared for. They will threaten any man who walks through their door, even if they're just a friend, with violence, great violence, to make sure. They are also absolutely terrified to bring their daughter any harm. I know that from experience with my daughters, Vanessa and Stephanie, especially when they began dating. My father wasn't always the easiest man to get along with, but he would have jumped in front of a bus if I told him that's what I needed. My father was always there for my family. I believe my dad would outlive the most giant of all cockroaches that got in our house in the summer when I was young. His personality was larger than life, and the amount of energy that man had was almost unfathomable. He slept four hours a night. He worked all day, all the way through Saturday, came home, did yard work, ran errands, built castles, fought dragons. Well, you get the point. But 20 years ago, we got the news that he had a weak heart. And... It only took a couple of years until he fell asleep permanently working at his desk in the store of our family-owned business for almost a hundred years, snatching him up to the heavens. But he didn't go without living life to its fullest with his good friend from Virginia, Captain Coogie Nye. Both of these fathers went to kindergarten together and they both went to high school together, and they both fought in the Navy in World War II. And they remained best friends until they were way up there in years. As a matter of fact, until the day they both passed from this earth. In the end, that entire experience of my brother and I taking turns driving to Eagle Lake from Austin made me realize that life is precious and time is fleeting and after they are gone we are here to continue to live as vibrantly as they did in their honor and memory it's been 20 years since i lost my dad and i continue trying to make the best life i can for myself and my family because that's what we, he did for us when he was here Everything I do, I do to pick up where he left off. Father's Day is no longer celebrating with him. It's a time to remember him. And while I have only shared some of his life in a tiny nutshell, you can understand the sentiment. My message to you is to go out there and hug your father if you are lucky enough to still have one. Because when once they're gone, you are only left with the memories. And after all, memories aren't your actual father. They're wonderful, but it's nothing like the real thing. 
Earth wasn't big enough for my dad's huge personality, but the skies of Disneyland were. Happy Father's Day to my father and all those fathers who have earned the title of dad. And today, I bring you my tribute to all the fathers around the world. Thanks for being here. Have you heard about Anchor.fm by Spotify? It's the easiest way to make a podcast with everything you need all in one place. Yep, Anchor has the tools that will allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or your computer. And best of all, Anchor is totally free. Download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Fatherhood is often condensed down to a single image. Maybe it's a father. Maybe it's a son. Tossing a baseball in the backyard. and Maybe it's a father and daughter working on the old car. However, Everyone knows that your dad or whoever holds that role of a father figure in your life means so much more than any singular moment. Fathers impart wisdom. They share hobbies and pick us up when we stumble and fall down. And maybe, just maybe, once in a while, they help with our taxes every April. Like, hey dad, does my cat count as a dependent? Most importantly, fathers are there for you through thick and thin. With Father's Day just around the corner, you have the perfect opportunity to reach out to your dad and let him know just how much he means to you. Whether your pop is a master of bad dad jokes or a serious chef or an award-winning barbecue cook-off champion or even maybe a sports coach, we're going to help you today to find the right Father's Day message to jot down in that special card to your dad. How do you wish, if you think about it, It's difficult sometimes you said, what am I going to say when you grab that pen in your hand? And how do you wish someone a happy Father's Day? Your dad has done so much for you throughout the years. Give you advice. Make you laugh. Hold your arms and fly you around like an airplane. So how do you help him feel appreciated this year? To start, choose a lovingly crafted Father's Day message written to place on a card. Whether it's heartfelt, serious, or funny, he'll have a great Father's Day and appreciate that card that lets him know you're thinking about him. Browse beautifully composed cards on your own time from the comfort of your own home sometimes with the great e-cards that now are now available to you. When you find one that's just right, you can schedule your Father's Day card ahead of time or send an e-card on Father's Day. There was no such thing when I was growing up as a kid and I was always trying to search for just the right words to say to my dad. Gorgeous e-cards mean you'll never be late with your heartfelt message and you won't have to search the whole house where you put those stamps like I had to do for many years. But what if you're not sure what to say? Ah, in that case, I got you covered today. You can keep things simple by signing your name or you can pick a more elaborate message. If you're looking for ways to make your card personal, and really pull on your dad's heartstrings, I'll provide some great writing tips to help you with that. 
But before that, let's figure out what type of Father's Day message will fit your dad. Now, you might ask, as you're sitting there and you're rubbing the temple on your head and you're thinking and you're thinking, and what is the best message for Father's Day? Whether you're celebrating your dad or someone that's an important father figure in your life, there's one core message that should shine through your Father's Day wishes, and that's love. Love, however, is different for everyone. And it can come in many, many forms and many phrases. You can say love without saying L-O-V-E. Growing up, for whatever reason, it was kind of hard for me to say, I love you, Dad. So just pick out that special card that you know will resonate between the two of you. Maybe it hits on an inside joke. Maybe it's a heartfelt thank you. Maybe it's just reminding him he's in your thoughts on this Father's Day. Like, here's some messages I'll just help you with. Thank you, Dad, for always being there. You're the best dad. Have a great day. World's greatest dad, exclamation point. Or, thanks for being a fantastic father. Then there are cards with funny Father Day messages. I know some of you picked those out. Some even have music in them, makes you hop. What do you and your Dan dad actually bond over? If the answer includes pranks, comedy, corny jokes, these messages will be for you. Maybe you grew up with your father making cringe-worthy cracks around you and your friends that embarrassed you when you were young. Now that you're older, throw one right back at him with a laugh out loud, laugh, loud one-liner. Laughter is an integral part of any relationship. And these funny Father's Day messages are just perfect. They're perfect way to commemorate yours. What's more, you can catch him off guard making him laugh right before bringing him to tears with an unexpected, heartfelt written message on the flip side. You can use any of these as an inspiration to create your own. Some love you, Dad, and all your crazy jokes. Dad of all trades. Dad, you kick butt. A dad like you is rare. Ooh, Dad, you never miss a beat. Or, Dad, you totally nailed it. Why do we look up to figuratively and literally in childhood? Before teachers, community leaders, and other role models come into our lives, it's Dad. He's first, of course. And... It's not just the height difference that makes him seem so courageous. He's the one who says yes when mom says no. The one who you watch stand up for others in need. The one who pushes you out of your comfort zone to be the very best you can be. These inspirational Father's Day messages will let him know how you've grown into a wonderful son or a wonderful daughter because of his positive impact on you. You may see your dad as almost superhuman, but the truth is, he's the one that taught you to be human above all else. I'll give you some help and some one-liners. You're my hero, Dad. Dad, you're the port in a storm. Or Father, you mean the world to me and no one could ever fill your shoes. Or Dad, one leg at a time, thank you for 
always being there. And you know what you can do? You might just include a picture of you and your dad together from way back in the past with your card. That always means a lot. Now, if someone else is kind of like your father on Father's Day, how do you say Happy Father's Day to your grandpa? If there's one person you don't want to forget on Father's Day, it's the guy who started it all. Your grandpa. Paternal or maternal? Nearby or a long ways off? Your grandfather is responsible for raising the generation before you. And if you're lucky, raising your generation too. Nobody can offer stories or sound advice or even time-tested recipes like dear old grandpa. He may be from a different time, but the work he's put into building a family is absolutely timeless. Send a card to your grandpa too and say, Happy Father's Day, Grandpa. And celebrate all the cherished moments you spent together. You're doing more than just respecting your elders when you do this. You're making your granddad's day too. Now, do you need some one-liner messages here too? Well, here they are. You're an awesome grandpa. Grandfathers are men of many hats. Happy Father's Day, Grandpa. 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 You're the best thing since sliced bread. And you know, as I'm talking about a Father's Day card, let's not forget those Father's Day cards for animal lovers. Dads who just love cats and dogs. and We all know the deal when it comes to dads and pets. What are they? Well, there are five basic steps in the pet adoption process. I remember that when I was a young boy. And I wanted this beautiful collie. And I got him. And I called him Sandy. But what? how did it go down? Well, first... Kids ask for a pet. Dad says no to a pet. Kid gets a pet. Dad pretends not to love the pet. And dad and the pet become completely inseparable. That's how that works. If this scenario sounds familiar, we've got the perfect Father's Day message to light up your dad's day. Pets are a wonderful part of the family experience and any animal in these cards, from dog to bear to birds to cats, has the potential to bring out the warm and fuzzy side of your dad. Bear and baby. Hello, Mr. Fox. Dad, you've built a great nest. From your favorite child that doesn't talk back, sending the Father's Day card on your dog's behalf is so nice. Father's Day card and messages for the master chef who slaves over that barbecue pit with the smoke bellowing out and the heat coming out and all the smoke and, oh, it's not easy, trust me. And we know all dads out there who are not just the best at the barbecue, they're an absolute whiz in any kitchen. From rare steaks to three-layer cakes, these father figures are truly dedicated to food and even more dedicated to sharing it with you. Food is nostalgic. Having a parent that shows you the world of food ensures you'll have amazing recipes for life. Thank your dad for the tutorials in the kitchen. Thank your father for the secret trips for after-school donuts and all the tasty meals you've shared together. Do you need some one-liners here? Well, that's what I'm here for. Well done, 
bad, or treat yourself to something sweet today. Happy Father's Day to the number one chef, or a dad like you is rare. You know, if your dad's a sports fanatic, every Sunday he's got to turn on a football game and every Saturday on a college football game, this one needs very little explanation. These cards are for the football fanatics or baseball fans and soccer coaches, the legendary sports dads. If they weren't running track alongside you, they were at your swim meets at Bel Air West and A-Leaf yelling their heads off in the bleachers so loud you could hear them underwater. That's right. In the moment, you were a little embarrassed, but in retrospect, you love him for being there. He's really the coolest dad. Thank you, supportive sporty dad, this Father's Day with a card to match. Mess Best dad by far. Dad, treat yourself to a cold beer and a televised sporting event. Or batter up, Dad. Batter up. Oh, and yes, put a picture inside the card of you on the Lakers baseball team or the Eagles baseball team or even wearing the green uniform that says socks across the front. And leave a message that says simply, world's greatest dads. So now that I've mentioned all these type of cards, you've picked your perfect Father's Day card. One you know will make him smile and feel truly appreciated. To add that final touch, you might just want to include that personal message that I've helped you with. But that can definitely be harder than it seems. If your goal is to make him tear up a little or a whole bunch, but your mind draws a blank when you start. Here are a few prompts to jog your creativity in adding your John Henry to the card. Pick a happy memory that you two share and write about it. How do you remember that moment and what does it mean to you? Or what is the funniest thing your dad has ever said? Do you have a favorite moment or inside joke that makes you laugh just thinking about it? Is there a place you associate with your dad? Write about it in detail. And describe one thing you try to emulate about your dad. What makes him such a great dad? And why? What's the most useful thing your dad has ever taught you? You can write about this too. And what's the favorite meal that you've shared together? And why? Hopefully these questions will help you start. But if you simply want to just sign your name, you have the option to do that as well on Father's Day cards. And let them, the card themselves, do all the talking. Maybe you and your dad text all day. You can do that nowadays. In old days you couldn't. Emojis and all. Maybe you catch up once in a blue moon over cocktails. Every relationship with a father figure is special. It's unique. And it's worth celebrating. Sending a personalized Father's Day e-card is a perfect way to make him feel appreciated. Every card comes with the option to include that personal message that you'd like to write. And if you're not sure what to say, we can help you find the perfect words right here in this podcast. Whether that's a funny message or one that's full of tender nostalgia, we've got you covered. To that end, sons, daughters, spouses, in-laws, and friends, take the time to show appreciation for the men in your life. Love goes out to all you dads out there on this Father's Day. Dad, Daddy, Daddy-O, or Pop, or Padre, 
or Paul or Father. There are so, so many different names to call the man who raised us. Yet, no matter what term of endearment we use to address our dads, we celebrate them all on the third Sunday of every June, Father's Day. Father's Day 2022 this year falls on June 19th, which is just around the corner from when I'm doing my broadcast. So it's high time to prepare that great tasting barbecue cookout menu, wrap up Dad's Father's Day presents, and think about a funny Instagram caption you can post to wish your dad well. Well, that's it today for my Father's Day tribute, and I hope everyone has enjoyed listening. If you enjoyed this episode and you'd like to help support the podcast, please share it with others. Post about it on social media or leave a rating or a review. To catch all the latest from me, Sydney St. James, you can follow me on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook or at my blog or at my podcast page. Oh, all the places social media is done. And until then, I'll see you next time, everyone. And as always, see you later, alligator. Well, that does it for me for another great episode from Sydney St. James. Be sure to click on the tab above that says send a voice message and I will get it from you and I'll probably play it back on one of my future podcasts. Also, don't forget to click the button follow. I'd love for you to follow my podcast. But it's been fun. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And until next time, here I am, Sydney St. James. Happy listening.